Hello, my name is Dan, and I am going to show you how to subnet a Class A IP address uh, using a simple chart. Uh, if you have not seen it, uh, I did a short video on how to subnet a Class C address. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to do a Class A using the same chart. And uh, since it is so quick and easy to use, I thought I'd start from scratch. And um, we start out by putting a 16, a 16, and a 240. And from here I work, um, it can work either to the left or to the right, it doesn't matter. But we're basically setting up our basis for our table to represent this bottom line is going to be our host. This uh, middle number is our network number or our subnet, so we'll just put nets. And the top number is going to be our uh, the subnet mask number. Okay, um, well, so let's go this way. We got our 16, we'll go our 8, we'll go our 4, we'll go our 2, we'll go our 1. This way we're going to go 16 to 32 to 64 to 128. And you'll see here that we have our, our 8 octets, our 8 bits, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And um, you know already that um, these numbers are derived by, uh, in binary, we're base 2. So... Um, 2 to the power of 0 is 1, 2 to the power of 1 is 2, etc., all the way down. Um, using 0 as a number, the next one would be uh, 2 to the power of 8 is 256, which we're going to see that number over here. But anyway, going back this way now, we're going to go from um, this number is going to decrease to 8, to 4, to 2, and increasing this way is 32, 64, 128, and then our 256. Um, this number up here for our subnet mask is, uh, as we borrow bits, these numbers get added. So this first number is 128, and when you add 64, you'll get 192. And you add 32 to that, you'll get 224, plus 16 is your 240. Um, just my little way of doing my little math checker. I like how the 16's lined up, so I'll start there. That's basically why I do that. 240 plus 8, 248. Plus 4 is 252, plus 2 is 254, plus 1 is 255. Okay, um, we're doing a class A. So the subnet mask, or it would be called the, the subnet mask for a class A, the full subnet mask is written uh, 255.0.0.0. .0 .0. Um, this number here, if you take this octet and you add up all these figures, gives you the 255, which makes it full. There's no this this number in our address will always remain the same. And uh, um, so, what they're what we're going to get here is we're going to get this address, um, the a 110.8.67. Point, 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 and you make it whatever we want. We'll make it 98 in this instance, um, and we'll we'll go a slash 50. Um, this slash 15 uh, we talked about before too is uh, this subnet mask in a class A full. If we take this right here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and this first octet would be a slash 8. If we fill up another octet, we would have 16, and that's where you get into your class B full. And then the next one would be if we had 255, 255, 255, those would be full. That would be our class C, okay? And then that would be, so it would be slash 8, slash 16, slash 24. So we're taking a class A address, and uh, we're primarily interested in this set of octets right here. So if we blew this up, we're basically, this is representing that right there. By the 255, we know that's not going to change, okay? But it tells us we have a slash 15. That means that we are borrowing 7 bits from this octet range. So starting from our 8, and if we start here at 1, we got 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So primarily we are interested in these numbers. The rest of them we are not even worried about. Um, we can use our same chart. Um, next problem we come along with, we can use it for class A, B, C, it doesn't matter. Um, if we're taking a test, we can make our chart and keep it separate, but we're just going to do this one problem, so um, for argument's sake, we're just going to leave it right here. Um, so by finding this out right here, I already can determine that that's our subnet net, subnet mask number. So 
if they ask you that question, what's the subnet mask that you would use, it's going to equal 255.254.0.0. Okay, um, here we have our magic number again, which is the host number. Um, 2 minus 2 is actually 0. Remember, we have to subtract the 2 because 1 is an IP address and 1 is a broadcast address. And um, we can have a total of 128 possible networks in this octet here for subnetting. Now, this wouldn't work on a class C because we would have... Um, no usable hosts so but in the case of a class a um, remember as we move to the right as we move to the right we lose hosts but gain networks as we move to the left we gain hosts and lose networks so in a class a we have a very large range of um, of hosts to work with here and i'm going to show you how to figure out um, usable hosts or available hosts at the end here but um, anyway so we know we're going to go in increments of 2 from this number. So let's just go from here. We're going to go 0, 2, to 4, to 6, to 8, 10, 12, etc. Um, said before, it'll, it'll, eventually it'll bottom out at 256, which would be um, that, that bumps up to the next range. So from here to the, the, the last number, if we kept going, we're going to have a total of 128 different networks that we can use. And here we find that our 8 is right here. And so this is going to be the network that we're going to be concerned with. Um, these are always going to be an even number. Now, the next number um, over here that's always odd is one less than the number to the left here. So 0 to 1 is our range, 2 to 3 is our range, 4 to 5 is our range, 6 to 7, 8 to 9, 10 to 11. Okay, so here's our range for our Class A network. So... Um, when they ask us what our net ID is for this address now, the net ID number, this number doesn't change. This number, since it falls in with this class, it has to be at this, right here would be the 8, and it would be 0, 0.0, 0. There's our network ID number right there. Um, the next number is the broadcast number. And again, this number will not change. It's the 110 point. Um, this this is where we get changed up though because remember the next network ID number is going to be 10 it would be 110 10.00 so we have to utilize this 9 here 8 9 and then these all would be on in a sense so we have to have 255.255 and that's our broadcast number for this class A and from here it's easy uh, what's our first usable host First usable is the first number that follows there, 110.8.0.1. And what's the last usable is one less than that one. So it's 110.9.255.254. And I said I'd get back to this in a minute, but the uh, if they wanted to know usable hosts, in this case, how many... Um, we can simply go, if we're going 15, if we're using 15 to figure out this equation, um, if we have four sets of eight octets here, that means there's a total of 32 bits. We used 15, okay? So all we gotta do is subtract our 32 from our 15 number, and that's gonna leave us with 17, 17. 17 bits for hosts and being that we are talking now in uh, binary which is a base 2 language which computers talk we're going to have our, our 2 here to the power of 17 and we have to subtract 2 again for the network id and the broadcast so the usable host off the top of my head i don't know what 2 to the power of 17 is but if we just write 2 to the power of 17 minus 2 That'll be our answer for how many usable hosts that we now have available. So just as easy as a class C, um, using the same chart. I hope this helps you guys out there. And uh, once again, God bless and good luck to you.